A New Mexico mother and daughter convicted in the death of a toddler had their latest appeal rejected. But the attorney for Mary and Sandy Taylor says he wants to take this case all the way to the state Supreme Court. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live in the studio tonight with more. Rachel. Dean and Jess, this case involves two children left in a hot car at a daycare. But lawyers for the Taylors insist what happened wasn't a crime. In 2017, 22 month old Malia Jones died, and two year old Aubriana Loya suffered permanent brain damage after being left in a hot car for about three hours at the Taylor Tots daycare in Portales. It was run by mother and daughter Mary and Sandy Taylor. They were sentenced to 30 years in prison for child abuse charges. Since then, their attorneys have worked to have their convictions overturned. We don't believe there was any crime committed. Uh, we believe it was an absolute accident. The Taylor's attorneys argued there is insufficient evidence to support their convictions for reckless child abuse. They also challenged the jury instructions given at trial. But today, the Court of Appeals agreed with the district court's decision. Our office is, is pleased that the Court of Appeals upheld the convictions in this case and that we were able to to secure justice for the families. Very happy with that decision, as I know the victims were extremely happy also. But even with this ruling, the Taylors won't be heading back to prison. Before the Court of Appeals ruling, their attorney says the Supreme Court granted their release until the appeals have been exhausted. Their attorney says they'll now take their case to Supreme Court, so the Taylors will remain free for now. We will do everything we can uh, and exhaust every possible appellate resource we have. The Taylor's attorneys have 30 days to file for the Supreme Court, and if the Supreme Court does take up this case, it could take months before it gets heard and a decision is made. Back to you. Okay, Rachel, thank you. We're told if the Supreme Court refuses to take this case, the Taylor's will be sent back to prison.